Amigos de Otra Fiesta, el día de hoy nos conectamos una vez más con nuestra querida Melody Shari de la serie Love and Marriage Huntsville. Melody, how are you? It's good to see you again. Hey, I'm doing great. Good to see you as well. Hola. <laughs> I love, do you speak Spanish? Poquito. Un poquito. Ah, I love it. I love it. She's not talking about the chill. Oh, She said chill. What's your problem? Bam, yo, baby, dad. Yeah. She was my wedding planner. Her Marcel, they have something going on. A lot going on, and your fans are very excited to watch and see what's going on. I see that you um reconnected with your ex to try to co-parent and kind of have like, a, like an easier co-parenting relationship. Tell me a little bit, what can we expect in these new episodes? Absolutely. So I love the fact that you said um, reconnecting in terms of co-parenting, um, because that's what it was solely. <laughs> um, <you> know, <laughs> I decided to I hand his mom on a trip that I had planned for the kiddos and, um, you know, just pretty much try to move forward positively as much as possible. And so, you know, you guys are going to get to see that in this new um, season. You're going to get to see us come together pertaining to some issues, you know, pertaining to another cast member's mother. And throughout the show, I'm sure you will continue to see, you know, the different dynamics of the friendships and the relationships, marriages and Um, of course, we're always going to give the business piece of it too, right? So first season, you know, they aired and showed me launching my skincare line, 7th Avenue Premier Skincare. This season, you guys will get to see me working my skincare line, right? Um, that has been doing amazingly well. And so just continuing to show what it looks like, you know, being parents, being friends, being husbands and wives and being entrepreneurs. I love that you mentioned your skincare line, which by the way, so one of your recent posts and you have all these packages that you're going to mail out is doing so good. So congratulations on that. You're doing amazing with that and people are loving it. Um, as we can see uh, on social, it must be hard to like do the whole co-parenting. I mean, I come from divorced parents and it took maybe like seven to eight years for my parents now to kind of have like a more stable co-parenting relationship. Um, and your kids are younger than me and my sister, but in a way, I'm just saying that like, I know like it's, it must be hard too, um, especially because, you know, social media and stuff put out like sometimes like different problems or discussions. And I don't know, like, you know, how are you guys doing right now? Because I know these episodes were shot a little bit ago, but how is that going as of right now? Are you guys doing well? No, we're not doing well right now when it comes to co-parenting. Um, I, for me, have totally removed the idea right now of being able to co-parent. Um, I will tell anyone, you know, divorce is already bad enough. But then when it gets to the piece of trying to co-parent, both parties have to be willing to be mature, to do their part, to respect boundaries, to respect the person, period, you know? Because no one's going to continue to treat you well or invite you in their space or invite you in their life whenever you're being disrespectful to them. It's just not the way the world works, even though that's the way some people think that it should work, it doesn't work that way. And so what I've learned is whenever you start putting those boundaries in place, a lot of times it's not well received, it's not well accepted, and then it leads to all of the extra drama. Uh, going back to the whole social media stuff, I saw one of your posts that was amazing with it, which is uh, your post about manifesting your mate. That you were like basically like, sis, go and write down what you want in this person, and this person will come through. And it's funny because like, I've done that, like that you get a notepad and you start writing down kind of like what you're looking for and the person that you want to date. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Have you had any any personal friends that like have done it and like literally found their person and literally hit every like, you know, point of that what you wrote or like personal experience, like, you know, bring, and you know, talk to me about this post that you made. Sure, I have had some personal friends who have taken that step um, in terms of manifesting their mate and they actually received everything on the list. Um, for me, <laughs> For me, that has not happened yet, but it's not because of the list. It's because, you know, I haven't fully opened myself up. I'm just getting to the place where I'm fully opening myself up to welcome that in. So whenever you're requesting and asking of things, you have to be open to receive that as well, right? And so um, I dated, of course, after I walked away from my marriage. However, um, I knew too that I still needed to do, you know, go through a few things, do some self-work, self-healing, Um, and really figure out how to maneuver in this new dynamic of being a single mom, being, you know, running businesses solo versus a husband-wife duo. And so I'm really, if I can be honest, 
I'm just now getting to that place where my heart chakra is starting to open to really start allowing that in, you know, real love, genuine love, um, and just really um, being able to maybe have a serious relationship. I told someone earlier, I said, probably when it comes to me, it will probably be, y'all won't even know I'm dating. <laughs> it's gonna just be a headline that says, Melody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm all about keeping like our relationship out of social media because I believe in bad juju and bad energy. And some people get jealous when they see you happy. So I'm like, let me just keep this away from social media and I'll be happy on my own terms. And, you know, maybe when I get married, people will find out. But I just don't, you know, it's it's probably better that way to keep it away. But I love that. I love that. And you're right. You know, definitely when you were working on self-healing or, you know, just like getting out of like a situation from life, it's it's better to just work on yourself. And once you're like at 100 percent, like literally 100 percent, things started happening without even you trying too much. You know what I mean? They just flourish and then boom. All of a sudden, you meet your person or, or doors start to open up and different things in life. But that's awesome. What have you learned so far from doing Love and Marriage Huntsville? Like, what is something that this show and this particular project, because this is one of the projects that part of your career, you know, you got your, your business side, but this is definitely something super important for you, um, especially because it's a way of showing such a personal side of you. Um, and you've been open about how real the show is and it's not really scripted or anything. What have you learned so far from the show? Well, I have definitely learned um, when it comes to reality TV that it can definitely show you and put a spotlight on people, their 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 motives, um, you know, quicker than if you weren't on TV. <laughs> Things get revealed a lot quicker than if you weren't on TV. And because of that, um, you know, I've, learn that sometimes in life your journey is solo your journey is meant to be solo and that's the path that God has you on and so that's where I am now um, I'm thankful I, I tell everybody I wake up happy every single day I love life I'm enjoying my life um, and I'm thankful that reality TV actually you know because for a while I will say I was maybe a little naive, right? I, I saw things and thought everyone meant good for you. Everyone had good intentions for you. And you know, I, you couldn't ask me about jealousy because I never, it wasn't a, even a word in my vocabulary because I didn't grow up that way, right? And so being on this show has just revealed so much to me that I hadn't known before the age of my 30s. And I'm thankful that I'm learning it now because I still have a long road to go. So I'm glad that I've learned these lessons now, which will make my 40s and my 50s and my 60s a lot more peaceful. Listen guys, we want you guys to check out the new episodes of Love & Marriage Huntsville, September 10th, only on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Love & Marriage Huntsville, September 10th, 8, 7 Central Standard Time.